everyone uh, myself dr ram kumar mishra at icer bhopal in department of biological sciences i'll be floating this cell signaling course and why we need to understand signal let understand why one should register for such a course what we are understanding from signaling is that signaling is synonymous to communication and everyone needs to do the signaling engage in signaling whether you understand it that it is happening or it is unknowingly happening but whenever signaling is happening it is a active process the entire system is involved there the whole life begins with the process of a signaling which is a chemo attraction type of a signaling so what exactly we will discuss in this course as the course will unfold uh, we will see if all living organism perform signaling the answer very simple answer is yes are there common pathways by which signaling occur in all organism answer for that is also a yes what are the requirements of the cell signaling we will see that and what are the pathways of cell signaling we will see that also in general when we will say cell signaling it will mean that two distinct cells are coming in contact or from different regions they are signaling to each other sometimes there could be one side where there is no cell rather there are some environmental cues so as i mentioned in the signaling if you consider all living organism perform signaling and they do so for physiological processes efficient functioning whether it is related to growth whether it is related to development whether we talk about the reproduction respiration sensory perception immunity defense whatever you say in different organisms it could mean immunity in some organism it could mean defense signaling is performed for survival sometimes you just need to endure the environment so survival is important for growth when you want to when you are growing in size or an organism is growing in size also very important to respond to the environmental cues like if it is very hot outside or very cold outside how system adopts and responds accordingly what is at the crux of all this signaling is that there are some protein modifications there are some enzyme activation there are transcription of certain target genes which is most commonly seen in all signaling events which are happening across strata of different life forms so in nut cell signaling in which a cell might give get the cues for survival and renewal it might get the cue for growth and proliferation it might get the cue depending on the environment for differentiation or at some points we know that the cell undergoes death which is a very in very programmed manner which is apoptosis or necrosis so there could be different types of cues and cell will be responding to that so what is this what are the need of the signaling what are why is and how is of the signaling so you will need at least the first thing which is signal itself so that is the primary requirement for cell signaling signaling will also need uh, something a cell or a center from where signal is produced the source of the signal it could be a cell it could be a environment a receptor which will receive the signal and a machinery which will interpret this binding and generate a response different organisms have evolved different ways for signaling there are specific pathways which are part of signaling we will discuss two component signaling receptors which are in the tyrosine kinase and serine threonine kinase family and the receptors which are called g protein coupled receptors how they engage in signaling what are the pathways how conserved they are but in general we understand that different organisms which rely on these different kind of signaling they show great degree of conservation in the pathway there are receptors there are responders there are effectors together they function for signaling and they show strong functional conservations in nut cell what a signaling inside the cell would look like that signal will be perceived at the cell surface through this receptor molecule inside this binding will be interpreted with the help of certain signaling proteins and these signaling molecules will activate a set of effector proteins which can bring about cytoskeletal changes 
लाइक इफ द मूवमेंट हैज टू बी इनिशिएटेड और सर्टन एंजाइम एक्टिविटी इफ अ मॉलिक्यूल हैज टू बी डिग्रेडेड और सम एंजाइमेटिक एक्टिविटी हैज टू बी परफॉर्म्ड लाइक काइनेज एक्टिविटी और इट कैन इंड्यूस द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन वेर अ सेट ऑफ important genes will be transcribed their proteins will be made and they will mediate the eventual signaling so signaling is of utmost importance for the existence of all living being and this course will discuss the complexity and diversity of cell signaling so let's join the cell signaling course and understand what is cell signaling and why it is important thank you